Hey guys, Patrick here, and if you've been following my channel recently, you'll know that I picked up the A7 III by Sony. And one of the big selling points for me was the inclusion of dual card slots so that I could either overflow from one memory card to another or create backups right in camera. One thing though I noticed out of the box, none of that is set up. So I'm going to show you where in the menu you can turn that on and give you a, a rundown of the options that you have with this feature. So let's dive in. First of all, you want to turn your camera on and hit the menu button. Once you've got the menu loaded, if you're not already there, you want to scroll over to the little icon that looks like a toolbox and go to page 6 where you'll find record media settings. You can go on in there and we have a couple options in here. First you're going to see prioritize record media, which essentially prioritizes which card slot the camera writes to. By default, it's set to slot one. Next, you have recording mode, and by default, this is set to standard. When I mentioned earlier about none of these features being turned on by default, this is what I meant. By having it set to standard, it's only going to record to card slot one, and effectively, you won't get any of the benefits of these tool card, dual card slots using the standard mode. But we can go in here, and we have a bunch of other options. So below standard we have simultaneous and a small little graphic of a photograph and what that does is simultaneously records photos to both card slots 1 and 2. Below that we have simultaneous and a little video clip icon and as you might guess that simulta simultaneously records video clips to both card slots 1 and 2. And then next we have simultaneous and both icons and that records photos and videos to both cards one and two. This is the feature I'm using currently uh, just because I wanted a backup of every card when I'm out shooting. After that if you're a JPEG shooter and you still shoot raw you can sort raw photos into card one and JPEG photos into card two. And then if you want JPEGs on card one and raws on card two this is your feature. And then last but not least in here we've got sort photos and videos. So this will sort photos to card one and videos to card two. And then back he out here our last menu item is auto switch media and earlier when I mentioned the overflow idea that's what this does. So basically if you're shooting on card one and you run out of storage it's going to automatically switch over to card two and you'll be able to continue shooting. So that's basically it for your card management settings on the Sony a7S. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.